All right, I'm back over here at the brand new railroad crossing here on West Jefferson Avenue in Riverview, Michigan. Now, in case you guys haven't seen uh, my tour video of this crossing right here, so to give a little, to give a quick overview, this crossing was actually recently put up by the CSAO, so I guess they could build a longer extender track for uh, the Jones Chemicals plant, which is where the Trenton Three Local sometimes works at. And um, for this crossing, they've um, put it up and they uh, built the rails to, uh, whoops, sorry, over there where the tracks end right by the former Riverview and Trenton Railroad. And just recently, I'm not exactly sure how long ago, but just recently, this brand new railroad crossing finally received its mass lights and its relay case. Because before, when I toured this crossing, it was just the overhead lights that were facing towards each other since they were turned towards each other since it was a brand new crossing still. But um, now they have their... Oh yeah, there is a train in the distance. But um, they still, but they now put the mass lights on, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick tour for y'all. There's so many trains at CP Rodney right now, and uh, I would I would catch them all right now, but I'm running on very borrowed time, so I sadly can't. So I guess with that said, here is the first signal. I already gave the overview. It's a Progress Arrow cantilever, and all the lights are actually Western Colon Hayes 12 by 24 inch uh, GE uniform LEDs, as you can see. And these are all sitting on progress rail light brackets. These are the GE uniform ones, not like the second gen ones where they're dotted. There's a car coming, so I'm gonna get out of the way. Yeah, my apologies if it's dark and foggy. It is actually midnight right now. And I'm out here, to, and I was out, and I went out here to catch a I-131 with Union Pacific 1111 leading. So, and I'm still out here. So I decided to uh, tour this cross, re uh, give an update video of this crossing while I was out here because I may or may not uh, visit this area again anytime soon, which I'm, I might, I might though. So here's the second signal. Here's what the mass lights look like. Once again, another Progress Hill comp uh, Company cantilever. And as you can see, these have the flat back light heads. And the, uh, yeah, once again, Progress Rail light bracket. So it's pretty much a very, very similar setup to the uh, West Jefferson Avenue number two crossing in which they have upgraded the signals recently because that crossing was abandoned and they brought it back to service. But however, this brand new crossing has the same cantilevers, but it's the two lane version and they put mechanical bells on these signals instead of e-bells, which is quite interesting. I guess that's really what the CSAO could afford. So yeah, I guess with that said, this is my update on the brand new Jefferson Avenue number three crossing. You can see that they put the mass lights on and also the side lights for this big old curve around here and and also the relay case over there which is not yet turned on because if you look here that little red sign and that uh track end uh boards however you call those them boards are still there so a train has not um gone beyond the crossfoot crossing over there quite yet but hopefully in the future i will be able to see this in action so like i said the relay case is not turned on yet and there's also no dot tags yet either so yeah I guess with all that said, this was my short little update video. Mass lights, relay case, but it's not 100% complete yet. So yeah, I guess. So yeah, I guess with all that said, over and out.